Cyan, thank you for the good luck. I can't believe there's so much, like, activity with this game going on as of late, like, the past few days. I just have, like, three streams going on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't usually like streaming while, like, other people are streaming runs, but... I want to. I plan on doing a run today, so I don't know. I always feel bad while other people are playing, but Sometimes though I just wanna I just wanna do a run. <laughs> yeah. yeah, understandable. Alright, wow. I'm like a second I'm like already like losing a second. Uh I guess I'm anyway ain't good though. And you also attack Kavu. Like the mashing felt slow. My double mashes have been feeling slow all of a sudden. I don't know what's up with that. I feel like there's some kind of like rhythm for double mashing that you have to do, otherwise like your inputs will get eaten. I feel like that's what happens to me. Like if you're too fast, you you lose a bunch of inputs. When being fast is bad. Still gold. I thought that was gonna be a 334. I don't. I honestly have no clue if I can go any faster than that on D-pad. <laughs> but like, I don't. I can't be losing six seconds to D-pad movement. Like, that doesn't really make sense to me. Unless it really loses me that much time. <laughs> I probably should look an analog soon. Stop using D-pad. Honestly, when Prime Day comes, I might buy some, like, grips for my analog sticks. And my grip on the analog stick is really poor, which is why I don't really do it. Like, I've tr I tried it and I just couldn't get used to it. Like, it just feels too slippery. And also, I feel like there are things like, with using character abilities, I'd want to be using D-pad for anyway. Um, like, the beamerang. 
There are some, like, though I know there are some beamerang angles that you can't get with the D-pad. I've just lived on Switch Pro Controller for as long as I can remember. Yeah, the analog one, that one, feels nicer. I don't remember how it feels, but I feel like I'd have... I, that one feels more grippy. The only controllers I've been using for the past, like, forever have been DualShock 4 and the current one I've been using, which is an Xbox controller. And I've only, I only really, the only games I've really been using analog on is like Feather Movement and Celeste. I remember trying to do hurricane tosses on the uh, DualShock 4 D-pad, and that was that was a treat. Like it sucks. It feels horrible. Still haven't. Wow, well, not even a second of golds. <laughs> Fun. Controller will always be slower than keyboard for hurricane. The devs explain why, and I hate it. Controller makes you wait to be neutral before your next hurricane directional input. Oh my god. <laughs> That's silly. Even more jank with this game. <laughs> That's been a thing since before 1.1, so yeah. Planning on getting the right right today, maybe? Honestly, I don't know why I'd never think of that. I try. I try, but it's hard, man. I just keep going into autopilot mode. Yeah, I could have hit that earlier. I always end up screwing something up. Those ice balls were slow because I wasn't paying attention. I just sometimes I just go like go into autopilot, but can't wait to see the Mega Rush on Contra today. Let's not talk about that. I almost did that again the other day. And I'm like, no 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 no, we're not doing this again. <laughs> Like, I even had an indication that I got the route right, like, on my PB, because Light was saying something, and I'm like... I didn't listen to- I, I didn't listen, and, uh, that's what I get. Like, that honey drop is probably easier to get with analog. And faster. Because I have to, like, put myself on, like, the, uh... Like, the front edge of that platform. 
You can only throw a beam ring at so many angles. I miss it all the time with the D-pad. It's impossible. Alright, guys, a room. Which I have been trying to get, but it's impossible. Hey, I did it! I'm... Pro. That's the first time I've done that in a run. Um, that's not good. What the heck? Alright, that's cool. Oh, that makes up for the time, but I, that makes up for me getting guys a room. I just fell off the geyser there. I get the I get the trivial part badly. I get the hard part only to mess up the tri the easy part. Feels bad. Let's remember to hit the save crystal at the right time. I don't know. How did that miss? I really should learn that easier. I just haven't practiced it. I remember there were a couple things I wanted to like try to optimize. Okay, I should have switched the leaf there. But for some reason I didn't think to do that. I remember there were like a couple things I was gonna look at trying to optimize, but I kinda just forgot what they were until watching Calc today. And this this ice thing was also one of them. Like, apparently, you don't have to push it if you just lean to the right and then freeze it. If I'm correct. You don't have to push it if you freeze it well. Is it necessarily as easy as, like, leaning to the right, though, or is there more depth to it? This is also, like, not as good of a gold as it could be. That's okay. 5.39. That was like a high 539. Not great. <clears throat> Very sloppy. Just be fast and as far right as possible, it's that easy. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess getting there fast would be like the difficult part because I seem to be, I think I got there too late. You have to, like, slightly coyote time to jump off the ice block. What was that? 
slip on the B button. Okay, that's okay. Five turns, Spooter. Oh wow, sub-15, chapter 1. Let's not cook another mistake, shall we? Or I don't know, or be my last run and screw up a tornado cause on- oh, well, I mean, I already told you about that, so. <laughs> One cooked mistake can end your run. Honestly, if I... Even if I, like, take things slow with... As long as I get the route right, I should be fine. Thanks for the good luck, Orpal. It's like, I don't really think I need, like, super fast, like, menuing. I've been... I'm trying to do, like, super fast menuing, but sometimes I miss menu. Um... Right, press B here. Almost forgot. It's just, for some reason, I keep confusing down with up. I don't know why. I need to fix that. I should probably just practice cooking. person, the discovery person, twice. Because I certainly did not do that in the last run. Slow, but whatever. Thank you. 
imagine missing the bad book. Great, now Cyan has an excuse to give me shit for not using the analog stick. That's the first time I've ever done that, I think, though. Analog stick one! <laughs> D-pad percent. If I do use the analog stick, though, I, I really hope I don't... I mean, I guess I should have, like... I really hope my controller doesn't drift. That's kind of one concern I have. Because modern analog sticks are terrible with that. I feel like it should be okay. I don't know. I've had a lot of drift issues with my Procons, but that's because I played the life out of Splatoon 2. I guess it just depends on the games you play. Possible. I'm I'm assuming it's possible to be fast enough to to not lose a cycle on that. Nice. I could have gotten that berry drop, but I didn't. You can one cycle that with analog. Imagine the first time I use analog, I get a two uh, three twenty nine uh, enter snake mouth. Wow, the double drop. Let's not get sniped by this guy. It's gonna happen. Why? What was I- what could I even do there? That was like the most cursed location for that guy to be in. Like, how do- how- what am I supposed to do? annoying. Like, I feel like there wasn't really much I could do there. Making him shoot in a direction that isn't right at you? Yay, yeah. I would have lost time doing that, but probably... That was really annoying, though. I've never seen that happen, where he just, like... I'm losing a lot of time on the split, still. I don't know. Last run I lost like 30 seconds though because I fell off the bridge twice. That was really... that was really shitty though. <laughs> Big Sedge. How much time am I losing here? 25? Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> I... That, you, that should never happen though. Wait, I have to heal. Actually, I probably should have healed. Right. Okay. Now I'm screwing things up.
I'll just take this. I'll just get the save crystal. Wouldn't have happened if I supered it. That wouldn't be an issue if I put on HP plus Kappa. Right down. HP plus for area, buddy, weird. Flash does that. Kappa. I should do plaid strats. <laughs> Not plaid strats. Slow mashing. Actually, I don't think I lost 31. I probably was like, I probably went plus 31. That's probably what happened. I don't exactly remember what happened in the last run that I did. I could change the comparison when I can. AKA after I hit 15 worms here. This is a very sus whack -a worm. I did, I did lose 31 seconds compared to gold. Okay, I hit 33. That's something, I guess. <laughs> Last second 33 hit. Honestly, I probably should have put on the, uh... It was almost all ability jumps. There was, like, one that I missed. When I used the save for Slither Heal, I should have put, uh, HP plus on V. Because, I mean, I might as well take the extra safety. Just hit the super guard on the kick, forehead. On the last run, I missed the super guard and she ups defense, so that was spooky.
Okay, kick the Kabu. I almost gold of that. I didn't. I would have been a gold if I didn't hit the save crystal. Which I didn't even need to hit. But okay. That was silly. I thought that was gonna hit. Well, very slow fight. Good start to Aura Golden. Uh, I should have waited that ice fall. I'll grab those. Probably gonna lose them anyway. Knowing my luck. Honestly, probably not even a need to grab them. Considering how much time that lost. Considering how much time I spent grabbing them. Too early. Okay, no, I didn't. screwed up this section. I, I always forget to go around there.
Okay. I'd rather not get hit by that. Probably could have made that. I probably didn't have to wait there, but I wanted to play it safe. Oh my god, why the double freeze? <laughs> what is this game? Double freeze. That kind of makes up for that awful golden. Go. Be nice to me. I don't like how that looks. That's okay. That was that. <laughs> that was one hundred percent my fault. But that looks horrible. Didn't expect to fall there. I really should just jump straight to the third fly trap. That's pretty much free. It's the second time in a row I've missed that save crystal. It's impossible to hit. Somehow, but only lost five seconds. I should have put Kazu in front. Whoops. Alright. Tiny mistake, though.
Oh god. I was not ready for that. Should be okay though. Keyword should be. I think that could have been- I don't know if that would have been- okay, well, that was slow. Um, plus zero. Actually, that could have been a gold if I didn't. Relaying first makes fights quicker. Yeah, I was gonna ask that. I mean, that was something I was curious about, if, like, the order that you relay actually matters. I guess it does. I wasn't exactly too sure of that, but that's gonna screw up my menuing muscle memory. I'm not used to, I'm just not used to doing that. It does because you don't have to root. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. If I would have put Kabu in front, that would have been a goal. Good job, me. Oh well, it's fine. I keep forgetting the cutscene's like further up than I think it is. Alright, so pretty bad chapter two. That's okay. I still saved eight seconds. Time for Scarlet to take like 12 minutes again. That would be horrible. I'm not gonna mess around with it this run, but on future runs, I'll try to like relay everything first. That's gonna take some time to get used to, though. Like the only reason I've been doing it like this was because I'm you. That's what I'm used to. That's what I've been doing. Um, but... I didn't get a hard seed. Well, okay. I guess I'll keep the magic seed. I'll keep the magic seed. Just in case V dies, and V dies, and we get a B-boop spawn on V-33.
Good menuing. Alright, well, let me, I'll try to pay attention to how much Scarwood heals. It's gonna be tough, though. I don't know, I have a hard time focusing on that. One. Indeed, that's drop on Kabu, so that's pretty bad. Wow, that's really annoying. Well, rip four turn, I guess. Oh, that magic team's gonna mess up my menuing. <laughs> Okay, thank god. Thank god it wasn't a six turn. That was really bad. I need to remember to sell that magic seed though, like, um, when I sell the dark cherries. If, assuming I still have it. Okay, reroll time.
I thought that was not gonna hit it. <laughs> I need a. I kind of want to start doing more of those angle throws, but I'm always afraid I'm of missing. I've done that like twice, thinking I missed, but I really hit it. Not screw this up, hopefully. possible. <laughs> I can hit that one, though. That's the second run in a row where that's happened like that. Set up, but I don't even know if it mattered. Oh my god. The feel when the um the feel when like the blind ice you hit the blind ice fall. Feels bad, man. Jump felt light. That's okay. I know it loses like a couple seconds. I almost bonked into you. Thanks for the raid. How'd the sort of end of your run go? Thanks for the good luck. Sapenzo? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen.
Why is Enter Funny Factory an impossible split? It's fine, I didn't even get the bridge jump. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It had a five turn Scarlet. It had double freeze ZNM again. Mid 54 bands is nice, yeah, and I didn't even get the good ice fall. I had the thing, the same thing where I. <laughs> I missed the ice fall with the Q, but I got the blind ice fall. Like, it's so stupid. And also, I took an extra turn. I also, it was also three turns. Because I couldn't, I didn't kill the burglar. Also, I had a really bad, uh, chapter two wasn't very good. Oh, this is comparing its latest, but... I lost time in Lower Golden and Upper Golden. And I could have golded Vigu if I didn't, uh, if I put Kabu in front, but I didn't. Alright, as you even saw, you had a 53 bandits, I would have probably had a heart attack. <laughs> Wow, not even sub 430. Reset. Losing four sec losing four seconds on this on a split that's literally just movement. I'm gonna lose like a full second on the epilogue. I did well a lot of things went wrong though. Like I didn't I missed the bridge jump and I also had that dash fuck up that you saw. No, my gold also fucked up a bunch of dashes. This is a lot about you like D-pad. That's my signature, Kappa. T-pad TM check W clap. D-pad emoji when? No ability jump. Ew. I need to learn to do that faster. That's bad. Too late with the bubble shield. And fail run. Good job, me. Fucking B loops, man. I'm gonna have to take the bed heels. That's really bad. I have to bed heal twice. Good start. I also got sniped by a numbnail on Golden Path. What am I doing? Worst, uh, so chapter three, chapter two sucked, uh, this chapter three is on the verge of being even worse. That's like 40, that's like almost an entire minute I'm gonna lose to healing at the beds. It's fine, if I don't die on any boss, I'm still gonna save like a ton of time. That was really bad though. That fail run was really unfortunate. Running is impossible. I probably could have just gotten- I, if I didn't fail that run, I could have just- I could have- I only had to use the bed once, but that's really bad. <laughs> Pfft, 
What the hell? What is this? What is this honey factory? It's like I almost just didn't even make it there. Okay. That was just really bad. He just ricocheted off the bubble shield. Ah, uh, that's really annoying. I'm also like off the berry route by like three berries, which I think is okay. That's not what you want though. That bee boop encounter was completely my fault though. Like I was just too low. No, you should have. Oh my god, why? And even cursed room. I'm, I feel like I'm going to be losing time entering the Geninary room. <laughs> oh my god, this is like the worst honey factory of all time. Yeah, it only matters for heals here, but after this, it says you should have three berries left. I'm not too sure what that means. Also, I really should be bubble shielding here. You won't unless something else goes awful. Okay, like that. Yeah, canceling the dash. Oh wait, sometimes if you get it like if you get it too far off the camera, it won't uh unfreeze. And I'm mad at this honey factory. Yeah, I'm losing time into the battle. That's really unfortunate. Next thing you know, you're getting turn one B boop on this run. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, this run was good until that happened. Uh, 35 seconds lost. Considering how bad that was, honestly, I'm kind of surprised I lost. I should have. I feel like I should be losing more time than that, but okay. I missed the button. Okay, what am I? <laughs> I don't even know what this, what this, what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to take this room slowly. Well, yeah, you did get the bee boop spawn. I just like missed the select button. My, are my fingers cold? No. Okay. I mean, this honey factory is already bad. We can just make it worse, right? Sus select button. Bad menuing. Really though, I'm, I can save a ton of time by just getting the route right and not taking any deaths. That would, in fact, continue the trend. Triple freeze of bomb, honey. Never seen before. When the RNG is sus. It's not even a goal because of how bad the Geninary puzzle room was. Other run had ups and downs in Ultimax. This run... This run will probably like end up getting the route right, but lose so much time because of poor execution. Alright, I have to take the bed. I... I've had runs like that. They're interesting. <laughs> Fail a dash. Cool. Yeah, what a good, uh, what a good update. You can just jump over the fence. Uh, why? 
Why me? So, I can explain to you what happened in Golden Path. Like, the numbnail, like, next to the thing that you turn was, like, directly to the right of, like, the thing. Right? Of, like, the thing that you turn. So, like, he shot straight at me and got me. I'm like, I would have to, like, go around. I would have to, like, like, <laughs> I have never seen that ever. But apparently that's a thing, and it's annoying. Because then you have to, like, adjust yourself so he doesn't shoot you. I should do my eclipse. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter for a funny nation whether or not he has more health. Dude, why am I just- <laughs> This is just the run of me getting sniped by B-Boops, apparently. Because I can't bubble shield just to save my life. <laughs> this is why my summon best is like 10 minutes better than my PB. Because I suck at movement. Wonder why? I'm just I'm just careless, really. Um, tornado toss twice. Like I'm just being careless and rushing things. That's like my big problem with like every single run that I do ever. Like, it's not even- no, like, it's not even a D-pad thing, though. <laughs> I just can't bubble shield, apparently. Wow, very funny a funny nation. And I even got the Paralyze, so that's not gonna help things. I don't even think I'm killing this turn. I didn't even know I could Paralyze you. Honey Factory just going in the drain. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this run went from good to horrible in like less than 10 minutes. Okay, now I kind of have to get the route right, otherwise, I guess, otherwise, I'm like kind of screwed. <sighs> Forgot you were there. Kinda too late to reset though. <laughs> like, is there like a point where you just turn around into a no reset? I mean, obviously, I can still PB this very possibly, but. <sighs> oh, come on. Okay, that's, that's annoying. Okay, that can happen. Okay, like I said, this honey factory sucks, so why not make it worse? Get these mistakes out of the way now so they don't happen on, like, other good runs. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay. I would like to pretend like this entire Chapter 3 did not happen. It was terrible from the beginning to the end. And... <laughs> That's really bad. I got stuck on the damn crate. Uh, I'm already behind gold, and I already have to- I still have to heal. It's hard to improve when no one else has done it. <laughs> Getting caught twice on the 
I bought my honey thing. Today, I don't know. Maybe today is just not a good day for me to be doing runs. To me, for me to be playing. It, those those kinds of things happen. The beginning of this run felt good though. Like I had a sub, I had my first sub fifteen chapter one. And Snake Mouth was still like not good. Talk to people. This whole game is impossible. 2.32 is my best possible time. That's not a good sign. I'm already losing time on this chapter 3. <laughs> yeah, plus 120. Well, I mean, this isn't the first P well, I mean, this is the first possible PB I'll have that happens in, like, garbage chapter 3. I don't remember what my last, like, the one that lost five minutes on Scarlet. You probably can't get worse than that, can you? It's bad when we got here right after a very unique run. minutes lost will be worse. I mean, yeah, I'm still losing less time than I did on that one run where I died on Star like three times. See, this magic seed though is gonna mess with my menuing. Yay, no Bibu. Wait, no, I got the attack order wrong. Yeah, I did really- that's- that's okay. <laughs> I'm- uh, I'm not even thinking straight anymore. <laughs> like, my experience with time loss is that the time loss just ends up, like... What's the term? I don't know what the term is, but... It just spirals, and you just end up losing, like, even more time. Because, like, at that point, you're just kind of annoyed, and you can't really focus. Well, I don't know. We'll bring this back, though. We'll try our best. Imagine if it's still Snipes Pledge. Just, just don't screw up Tornado Toss on EOK. We're good. I can save time on... Okay, right. Chapter 4 on the last run. Right. Gotta remember I'm comparing against latest. Um, remember we're comparing against latest. Um, chapter 4 in the last run was awful. Encounter Honey Factory, really bad, a Honey Nation, getting caught twice on Overseer. Yeah. It's like, my thought process is, as long as I get the route right, even with poor execution, I can still save quite a lot of time. And well, this is a run with poor execution. <laughs> I don't know, I got five minutes to lose, though, and I got time saving my gold, so... Thank you. 
Alright. Um not sure what I want to do. What I want to do the whole reroll thing, but Alright, yeah, rerolls. I got my order messed up. Kinda hesitated. Thought I had to get the crystal berries, but that's later. Okay. Well, that's twice, I think. Or three, two or three. What's this versus PB? 28 seconds behind PB. Why can't I talk to this guy? Okay. Honestly, though, I'm still... F if I go... If I'm, like, a couple berries short, I do have the magic seed still, so I can just sell that. Like, I, I kept the magic seed this time uh, for... Uh, in case V died with a B33 spawn. You thought I bought honey drops? Was it really that close? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. That would have been a good way to kill the run. Though, I don't know. If I killed the run here, I wouldn't really care because it's terrible, but... I don't really care if I kill this run. <laughs> We're just winging it. Sure looked close. I don't know, man. Knowing me, it would have happened. I almost... that was really close. I almost dashed into that chomper. Okay, I guess I should... I don't know, Honey Honey Factory IL's win. Oh, I need to do Enter Honey Factory IL's and Honey Factory itself. That was a funny factory though, so it lives up to its name. That was the funniest factory I've seen in my life. Better <laughs> funny factory, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Instead of practicing this game, well I did some practice on this game, but I was practicing Celeste, Kappa. Menuing. I think that killed the gold, but okay. Could be like a 6 4 through if I the miss menu. I can see Enter Bandit Hideout and Enter Wildlands with a funny factory. <laughs> I didn't expect for the uh, box to show up there because I thought I like. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought like. There was something that I thought would happen, but didn't happen. Like, I didn't expect, like, the menu box to show up there. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's get caught here and lose even more time. <laughs> Sounds like a plant, Smile W. Honestly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. I kind of want to run a faster cycle with this guy, but it's spooky. It's like, you have to be good with pushing that ice block, I think. Why would you do this? Okay. What oh, was this, a 136? That's not great, I don't think. I think my gold is like, before I deleted that split, it was like a 128. I, I honestly don't remember. get first struck. 128 is reasonable without faster strats, yeah. I... I kind of... I don't remember if that's exactly my gold. It might have been. 128 or 129, something like that. I don't know, it just seems like a silly split to have as a gold. Uh, or something silly to have as a split, though, so I just removed it. I could probably honestly still remove the inner snake mouth split, but I don't really care enough. I mean, it's just personal preference either way. Because it's what's up for baby differences. Ah, true. Also, Cyan told me about like the faster menuing, like if you relay first. I kinda wanna learn to I kinda wanna learn that. I'm just not used to doing it like that. Yo, the supers. It takes a bit to get used to, but it is faster in most cases and easier, yeah. Because, like, if you're on items, it's two to the left. If you're on special, it's two to the right. And if you're on attack, it's one to the right. Actually, did I even get the shroom? I don't even remember. <laughs> That'd be really sad if I forgot to get it. But I guess I could just do Venus Blood Heal at that point. Yep, remember Equips. Actually, no, it wasn't Equip that I messed up, it was me not using the Shroom. It wouldn't even be that bad, because then I could have a faster Dean Scorpion. I don't know exactly what the Barry Route here is, though. Ha! <laughs> Almost forgot again. I was like, nah, let's not do that again. I thought you forgot. Yeah, I, I just I just did that to give you a heart attack, Kappa.
Forgetting to use Shroom, though, is better than forgetting to Bud. If you forget to Bud, then that's basically your screw. Look at that meaty time save. We have even more meaty time save in Sandcastle. You're just- you're- we're gonna forget about the fact that this run was a minute and a half behind the last run on Chapter 3. This run is like, looking like the polar opposite of the last run, honestly. I mean, if I did have to use a Shroom Battle, I have to remember not to use it on V because it paralyzes you. <laughs> I like, honestly forgetting to use a shroom isn't even the worst. It's just if you use it on V, you completely screw yourself. And that's yeah, that's what I did. That's the mistake I made. I think the main mess ups here was like the, the Indiana Jones room. Because I kind of just. I just kind of flubbed it up super badly. There must. There's probably. There's other things as well, but that was like the main big one. Switching characters is impossible. One of these days, I'll get it. I couldn't even get the backup. Okay. I'll get it one of these days. I haven't been practicing that much, though, so... Oh wait, didn't that run also have like the janky like floating crawler block? <laughs> yep, that was a thing. Okay, you have to be closer to this than you think, apparently. I don't know why I keep missing that. I feel like I'm... I should be close enough, but... I missed that, like, the past two runs in a row, so... Maybe it's not as easy as I think it is. Well, we're past Indiana Jones' room. So, something would have to go horribly wrong for me to lose time here. Like, falling off here, I was... I was so ready for that to happen. I... I kind of wanted to look for a place to equip power exchange on Kabu, but... Honestly, I think it's too late, um, so I might as well do it now. There's no, like, real area for us to wait. Bringing that up before making it past that. Uh, this guy can suck, which is cool. Okay, I can still make this, it's just gonna be worse. Okay. I hate... I could push him out. 
This ice block has been screwing me up <laughs> really badly, apparently. I pushed him in the corner this time, that was horrible. Like, you can still make it, um, you don't have to push him up to the platform, it's just easier. Um, to do so. Yay, look at that zero freeze. Good thing we put on power exchange. Oh yeah, also like this is a run where I remember I had to hit the save crystal before area because V took one damage from the numbnail snipe. So that was cool. And that that killed the gold because I was like a few frames off gold. Uh, not great, but hey, it could be worse. Because I screwed up Scorpion really. I, I died on him in the uh, last run I did. Okay, I'll slow him anyway, but it's still like a one second gold. I'm assuming the sand wall is slow because you have to menu around it. Fast if you menu fast because the animation is faster than a lot of the other attacks. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, that would make sense, but. I miss menued on ZNM2 because, uh. Also, we're gonna do ZNM2 for distrats again. Menuing fast is easier said than done when under pressure. Yep. I mean, my menuing this run has been not very good, so... <laughs> On ZNM2 in the last run, I tried to menu fast, and I tornado tossed Zasp instead of Mathiva because I dropped an input on the menuing. That was a weird dash, but okay. I just gotta remember to Mega Rush V. The description of my run is just gonna be funny factory. 
or like funniest factory ever or something. Assuming this PBs. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> that's also great. Remember what I said about about that menuing? And me saying it sucks. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I put power exchange on Kabu, but that damage confirmed it, so that's cool. I mean, chapter two wasn't good either. <laughs> Let's be honest. But yeah, chapter three was way worse. I think my the one where I lost five minutes on Scarlet was like a 118 exit. So we're still like, that was still like four minutes ahead of that. Four spices. I just forgot that. All right, rerolls. Wow, I was on the right. So that's not even suboptimal. zeros. I don't know, man. Alright, this menuing is gonna be fun because I have the magic seed. I bought flower this time. Just end my suffering by cooking a mistake now. Me. I wasn't bad enough to cook a mistake. Feels bad, man. I don't think this is gold. It's close. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, I'm- I kind of- I was kind of awkward there with buying the spicy berries, so. Okay, let's not fall off this time and encounter, uh, let's not fall off and get an encounter. That'd be cool. Let's not mess up our beast equips. I also miss Swamp Land Skip. Um, oh, run. All right, I messed it up once.
Nice. And by nice, I mean terrible. I mean, not terrible. I mean, I could have had a zero for ease, but not great. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. <sighs> okay. It's swamp lands, Kappa. Didn't happen. Okay. All right, swap line skip. correctly. When I'll get to a point where I'm fast enough I don't have to refreeze that guy. Probably have to freeze this guy again. Can you not? Alright. This room is really cursed. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think any cursed room went well in this run, to be honest. Upper Golden, I fell. Um, Funny Factory was horrible, obviously. 
Um, cursed room and castle. I got the guy stuck on the corner. Menuing and slow attack and slow hurricanes. Yo, double fail though. And it's still not a gold because he did slow attack. Slow menuing and slow attack, damn. That's quite a bit of time loss. That's fine. I dig is slower than I thought. Feel when you double fail and still don't gold. I need to practice badge equip skills bad. I also hate wanting to get it on top of there. This is really slow. I, I might actually be losing a cycle here. That's really slow. not. Okay. It's fun. Okay. Okay, we're most likely not going to go for Driller Cycle unless I absolutely knew I like don't bonk anywhere. Okay, now I know I'm not going for it. Now you really know you're not going for it. Hopefully I'm not so slow that I actually lose a cycle instead. We're fine. Alright, that's fine. Let's not mess up Ultimax menuing. Or encounter this guy. That's all my time loss in the last run. <sighs> oh, that was 
was scary. <laughs> Safe. It was pretty slow movement though. I think. Rods up with something going as well. Second somewhere in the mushroom. Interesting. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. I also forgot to work with the shady end again. Nice. Is it possible to remember that? Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> uh, get on up now. 
Uh, lost three seconds. What's this versus PV? Honestly, I should probably switch the comparison to PV now. Counter didn't even lose me that much time, interestingly. No, I guess I switched my comparison, so I don't remember exactly what happened to my PV. I think I encountered a numbnail as well. I almost fell off. Okay, don't roll the tree and we're good. Oh, it had Weeble spawn, that's what happened. Oh my god, that was scary. I'm hitting the save crystal though. Alright, we're gonna go for risky ZNM2 and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> the run sucks, you might as well go for risky strats. And. next time. Plus 31. Well, I lost 3 seconds in Chapter 4 versus PB. I must have had a pretty good Chapter 4 in PB. Um, I did save all my time in Chapter 5, though, because I didn't mess up Beast. Yo, Sublime, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the go luck. I... What is this movement? <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I feel like every time I get a stream ward, I get I screw up in the run. It's cursed. I should just remove stream ward so that doesn't happen. Kappa. I never, like, you should never bonk there, but I bonked there twice. Feels bad, man. Whoa, what are you doing? Did 
doing a different order turn, doing a different turn, or turn order from what, doing different menuing from what you're used to, rather. That's the effect of that. Risky's the NM2 time. How's it, how's it feeling? Even in practice, my freeze luck with Zasp has been abysmal. Like, it's like less than half, or half, like, I guess 60% kind of equates to that, but still. I guess it's like using, like, Hypnosis in Pokemon. It's like the same equivalency. That was almost good, and I had to screw up the menuing anyway. It's an extra turn. Or that's enough. Okay. I didn't think that would be enough. That was only a one second gold. Good menuing, man. Well, it was menuing and movement that screwed me up. for 300 drops, I think, so... So I guess it kind of makes sense that I only hold it by one second. Blocking movement slow menuing equals bad.
Okay. Nice gold. So many, like, barely golds in this, but okay. That jump is so hard. So I'm just not gonna do it. I probably just did I probably, like, just didn't jump in the right spot. Oh my god. I was gonna lose my fly for a second. Okay, this room went poorly in the last run, so let's fix that. Hopefully. Um, okay. I just went ahead and did the metal close, but usually I just use the item first. Should be um oh right I was thinking of viewing the item equips on the moving bridge here but for some reason I didn't think to do that here or I didn't think to do that here Ah, yay! 
blue, green, yellow, red. Book menu wing is impossible. Killed gold. <laughs> but I mean, that wasn't a good prison, so. Okay, do your menu incorrectly. Today is atrocious. Must be expected. Okay. Full super. Terrible. Imagine continuing this run. Pretty good gold. Shop reset. Okay, we just gotta hope Deadlands goes well for us because it was atrocious last time. Surprised at this pace, considering how horrible this run is. <laughs> like, how can it still, like, how is it still 233? <clears throat> I shouldn't speak too soon, though. I could screw up Tornado and Elk again. And then, there goes the run. Actually, even if I die once on a pace like this, it wouldn't kill with a PB, but... That would be really bad still, and sad. That, that would be really sad, mostly. should warn that jump. It doesn't seem too difficult. Like the jump under the uh, shelf thing. Some of the best. Uh, we're pretty close to 227. Wild. 
Frisian PB was also awful. Dang, plus zero. You really hate to see that. I think that's too high. I kind of just went for it, but... That looks like almost the same height. That's fine. What I ha I feel like the height that I had it frozen at should have been fine, but... Pretty kind of safe there. It was a third four that was really bad in PB, I think. Or that can happen. <laughs> wow. Fridge practice one. I need to do big clips on Kabu. I did the same. I keep doing that. Let's not Mega Rush Constructs again. Afford a decent amount of backups. Actually, the split suggests on my PB Chapter 3 and thinking about it wasn't even that great yet either because. I, I was probably like way ahead in the chapter two. <laughs> Never mind, I'm like saying dumb shit at this point. I think I bought a magic seed like that again. Dude, that shop is so whack in terms of like the item shuffling. I think I I think like the exact same thing happened with like the magic seed and voice honey like shuffling. Treat me well. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't care about him doing venueing slowly. I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. I even got a mystery berry drop or whatever that item whatever that item's called. That's also that's not what I want to have happen, but okay. That's fine. Don't do it. Oh my god. I thought for a second, like, I saw it get in the corner. I thought it was gonna do, like, the door thing. Okay, that was really slow. Like a nice fat gold. Yeah, I know you don't need to fly jump that, but normal jumping that seems kind of tight. I, like the normal jump for that, or the normal fly seems kind of tight. Because you have to like angle yourself around the pillar. Yo, 227? Still not even my best execution I can have. Alright, 232 is unlikely. Screw up another tornado on elk, I'll be sad. That's backup so, but it's not the greatest. That spicy fries is scary. He's pulling a calc. By eating spicy fries. You hope. <laughs> I think tornado toss should. I think I tornado here. I could have just two hit him. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. I could have just done a two hit tornado toss. Imagine if it's barely 232s. Yeah. I think low 233 is more reasonable to expect. Assuming I don't die here.
Okay. That's fine. That's slow, though. Wait, this kid's 232. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, let's not lose three seconds on the ceremony. Yo, thanks for the GG. Hey, look, I got the route right. I don't think I, uh, I had no deaths, I think. Alright. It's fine. It's all good. There's a lot of bug fables going on today, between Calc, me, and Plage. I don't really like streaming at the same time as, like, someone else who's running. I don't really like streaming runs at the same time as someone else, but... I just felt like doing a run today. Because I haven't done a run in, like, two days. The sub-230 is looking like a real possibility. I mean, how much time did I lose in Honey Factory? Or Chapter 3, like, in general? Yeah, definitely very capable of it. I mean, my goal would still have time saved. curious, where does this put me on the boards? <laughs> At least top four, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think I... Like, that snipes Marlo. I think I'm, like, barely below Gamer. Third? Wait, I sniped Gamer? Wait, oh, he had a 234? Wow. Oh my god, no way. No gold, shut up. <laughs> oh my god. I to lose a funny factor. Yeah, I lost like over, I lost like like two minutes and twelve seconds in chapter three, and another three in chapter four. Well, well done. <laughs> that happens. Yeah, sub-15 chapter 1. My first sub-15 chapter 1 ever. Almost a sub-42 chapter 2. Let's not talk about this chapter 3. 32, 25. 2058 chapter 4. I mean, this, that was only 3 seconds slower than PD. 
1859 Chapter 5, 2112 Chapter 6, 1711 Chapter 7. Damn, that's solid. This is what doing oven well uh, does. Let's take a look at our golds. I wonder what that end segment is. Is it still faster than Calc's gold? It's a 69! <laughs> what, are, what do our golds look like? 1454 chapter 1, 2633 chapter 2. I did not gold anything here, so screw that. I don't think I golded anything here either. 2026 chapter 4, 1838 chapter 5. That didn't change. Almost sub 21 chapter 6. And a sub 17 chapter 7. I just want to play Celeste, damn it. <laughs> this game keeps tempting me. It's cool though. This game's fun. And it's always fun hanging out like everyone else's streams. <laughs> Bugs are fun. What can I say, man? I know we're going to be writing Quash after this, but let's just play the credits. Oh wow, Ewu is doing Bug Fables too. Wow! Well, that's like, what, four Bug Fable streams on the same night? Crazy. I rated Plodge last time, though. Yeah. No, what? Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> no fucking way. Getting third just to lose third. God damn it. <laughs> well, better luck next time, Kappa. What was his time? Low 232? Mm hmm. Right, I forgot, he started streaming quite a while ago, so... Makes sense that he would be done. I wonder when I started my run in comparison to his. <laughs> it was kind of like a race. Uh, kind of a mini race, I guess you could call it. Well, I mean, Gamer got his wish. It literally was a race. Gamer did say he wanted to get bopped, but he got double bopped. Which means he's not even third anymore. You know, let's just not have a garbage honey factory next time. Please. Race to sub 230. <laughs> Racing flag for sub 230. 
It was a good day for bugs, though. I thought I finally beat Plaid. <laughs> Plaid is Plaid is an anime character. Changed my mind. <laughs> Facts. I mean, I definitely would want to speedrun Celeste uh, before the end of this month because, you know, Pride Month and everything. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, let's try to push for sub-230. And I can maybe take a break from the game, assuming I'm not totally dissatisfied with my run, Kappa. <laughs> Though that's probably never gonna happen. Cause like in a run like this, you you kind of have to expect like at least something to go kind of badly wrong, kind of horribly wrong. You both are so capable of sub 230. This is so cool to see. You know, maybe. What if I just- what if we just- What if we just organized races between me and Plage? All right, thanks, Waiter Cyan. All right, for verification purposes. I named this file Pledge too. God damn it! <laughs> uh, for verification purposes, we did have VSync on or off. <laughs> 